Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Sit Down. I'm DJ Six Smith. Mark McKinnon here with us. The waiting room, BT Her. It's going to be a good one. Mark, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, I'm great. I'm great. Thank you for having me on your show. You got it. So I'm really excited to talk to you because BT Her is a really cool initiative, and the waiting room is really timely, really relevant, and a big one for you. So, what was it like filming this one? Um, yeah, it, it was truly an honor and I had a lot of fun to be a part of this uh, project. I had so much fun working under Cheryl Lee Ralph, who was the director. I'm grateful for Tressa Smallwood and the Megamind family for the opportunity. I really wanted to be a part of something that was going to make a major impact in our community. And this project was the one to do that. Uh, so yeah, it was a great time. Great experience. The portrayal of black men and women is so important and especially in today's world black women they are so often forgotten and you got to work with so many incredible women here what's the biggest thing you learned with this project man the biggest thing i learned is that we have to all work together a lot of times we have different egos on set or we all have our own agenda a lot of times it can cause a lot of chaos but one thing about this project that everyone was on the same page Everyone was impacted by breast cancer somehow, whether it was a family member or they'd gone through it themselves. Like we all were on one mission to really bring awareness to breast cancer. And you're somebody who has been personally impacted. Your grandmother passed away from breast cancer. This is something really meaningful to you. So how often were you thinking about her during this entire process? I, mean, I dedicated my entire role uh, to my grandmother, Laura McKinnon. You know, she died of breast cancer years ago. And I want to make sure this is a way to honor her through this role. So literally every day that I studied lines, every day that I prepared, every, th every day that I was in rehearsal, she was on my mind. So you're somebody early in your life that was really into football, sports were a big thing, and then acting came into the picture, you went to Howard. What have been some of the crazier moments of this journey when you take a step back and really think about things here? Man, like, honestly, it was like trying to make that decision to leave football. That, that was really, really tough for me. Um, it wasn't uh, something that I wanted to do. I tried to navigate both, but it was extremely hard. Uh, so actually when I went to go audition for the Howard University uh, Theater Arts program, when I walked into the audition room, they said, you know, you can't audition for our program if you're planning on playing football. I said, uh, why can't I do both? And they were like, no one has ever been an athlete and been a part of our theater arts program at the same time because of the schedule. And I was like, well, I'm going to be the first. They was like, are you sure you want to audition? Because you're going to do sports, you can't. Um, and so I had to make a decision right there on the spot because I really wanted to be a part of the theater arts program. And I was already there. I worked hard to get this audition. Uh, and so they uh, let me audition. It went really good. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm going to still play football too. <laughs> you know. And sure enough, I walked onto the Howard football team. And we had a 5 a.m. practice, like maybe like three weeks into the season. And that practice didn't go well at all. So what did they do? They said, y'all going to come back tonight at 6 o'clock. And I already had a rehearsal schedule with the theater mm -hmm. arts program for a show we were doing. And this was the first time I felt that fight. I felt that battle. Um, so I had to make that de decision right there to hang up the cleats, you know, because I knew I, I was on a mission to be an actor and make an impact in the entertainment. Well, there's so much you can draw from sports into the entertainment world. You need that persistence. You need that hard work. So how did a, a time in sports really set you up for everything you're doing right now? No, really, honestly, the discipline. You know, when you're playing sports and you've got the practices, the early mornings, the, 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 the notes that you're taking when you're in the uh, practice room, you know, all these things I'm able to apply to acting. I'm also an acting coach as well, so I'm able to teach my clients the same principle, the discipline that they need to really succeed at their careers. So when people check out your movie, it's going to pull at the emotional heartstrings. They're certainly going to relate to everything going on. What are some big things you want people to be thinking about when they check it out? Oh, man, one thing, they're going to be encouraged to make sure to get checked more often, to get checked daily. Uh, we, I read and found out that, you know, 40%, uh, uh, the death rate is 40% higher for black women than it is for white women. So I really wanted to make sure that that message got across and BET, the writers, the production team made sure that that message was strong. So get checked, we have to take care of our health. We have to make sure that we are taking our health serious. Well said, Mark, really nice to meet you. Looking forward to this one and looking forward to a lot of great work from you down the road, All right, man? Thank you again.